Hello and welcome to the Shaver Ranch Plus Wolves! You ever get the feeling that you're too successful at something? <laughs> welcome to week nine of our garden! <laughs> it's exploding! You know those tiny cute little seeds that you plant and then the little seedlings pop up? They look so small when they start and they get big. Perhaps we should have given it a little bit more spacing. <laughs> well, we're trying to jam as much as we can into the space that we have. If we didn't rent, we owned, this whole yard would be our ranch and garden. So we need to thin it out, but before we thin it out, we wanted to show how prolific it is and how successful, quote, we are. These are, I mean, we've got carrots and Swiss chard and uh, collard greens buried in here. We're just gonna have to cut back the squash because obviously it's going crazy. Yeah, these huge leaves are the squash. And these are the potatoes and they're starting to die back a little bit. Once they start to really yellow and really die, it's time to pick the potatoes. It's not an emergency. You don't have to pick them, but it's time that we can pick them. So we'll slowly pick them and eat them as we, as we want to. Now we always think up of witty things to say after the film has been done, but, you know, we're mm. doing our best. The heat has been quite bad, you know, for us. We're, we're a family that prefers cold temperatures, but with the right amount of water, this heat is excellent for the garden. It's growing very, very quickly and very, very nicely. A couple of weeks ago, I planted some garlic, and they're popping out, which is good. We're just using every extra pot and everything that we got around here. More strawberries. These we got are, these nice flowers too. Yeah, some of these were just a gift. They yeah. just popped out. It's kind of gift plants. This is our experiment with the hay bale. I'm not real happy about it because it takes a lot of water because there's not a lot of deep soil. Yeah. So it's fine, but it gives us extra space to grow, but I wouldn't, you know, base my whole garden on it. Or yeah, it's not preferable. All so, right. Um, these nice little flowers are going to turn into green beans. Mm hmm. If you um, look, they're growing super high. As usual, I can't really see the viewfinder. It's too bright out here. The glare is bad. Now, if you'll notice this, uh, the, the deer are brave enough to walk around the corner a little bit. And eat it. They're not brave yeah. enough to come this far, but they're so nibbling at our beans here. So what I'm going to do is I hook, I hook, put up some camo netting that we have to block the deer from coming through here. Now we'll be able to just push it aside and go through, no problem. But right. it'll deter the deer. And didn't you say something about maybe those high vines could grow on that camo netting and kind of go across a well, little I'd bit? I prefer not because it'll weigh it down and uh, it's okay. just going to be a piece of paracord that holds it up. All right. Eventually, maybe next year, I'm going to put some on the inside, put some uh, little tiny pots and stuff to grow some small herbs and stuff. All right. Maybe even a shelf. <laughs> Maybe. So, obviously here too, we're overcrowded. We're trying to use as much space as we can. So we're going to have to thin this out. Last year we had squash space to walk. growing everywhere and the uh, pumpkins didn't grow very much because we had so many pumpkins that not enough energy went to any individual ones. So we're going to keep it cut back this year and not let it sprawl everywhere. Yep. If you look right here. And concentrate the pumpkins. Oh, look at there. Obviously the corn is awesome and this is the first I've seen of a shoot. Mm -hmm. Pollen comes off of there and comes down to the silks that are starting <coughs> to form here. And then we're going to get corn growing. I don't know if you've mentioned this in previous episodes, but it is uh, important to keep all the corn clustered together in several rows instead of making one long row because they pollinate themselves that way. Wind pollinator. And the squash has taken control of everything. I originally had beans in here, and I think that's a bean right here. But they're not doing great because they're being squelched out by all the squash, which is growing like crazy. Look. I think we best uh, put the squash by itself. Well, if you'll pan over this way, this is a new thing I don't think we've got on the videos yet. I put squash and other various things. I put some more beans back here. And this 
and most of them I put a little sunflower so sunflower seeds will grow but all this uh, well that's bell pepper I got bell pepper but in every one of these there's different kind of squa squash and zucchini and what these can do is come out and grow along the ground ah bell pepper oh, oh the, look there's a bell pepper yeah, in there these bell peppers were in the planter we were just in and they were so squelched out we decided to transplant them so they could grow <laughs> and they survived the transplant and, the and it's a is, constant battle with the deer look yeah, at that see we're getting little nibbles but like i did here i interwoven these branches through i'm gonna have to do the same with this try to keep it safe so also in here i have the squash that's going to grow out the sides and on the ground and i put little carrots and turnips and little seeds in the middle and mm -hmm. on each each one I have beans and sunflowers in. Here's a little sunflower I just put in an empty spot. Same thing here. Carrots are in the middle. Little, um, I don't know, turnips or random stuff. I've got it all written down on these. Carrots, squash, <laughs> beans, turnips. And then another, uh, another bell pepper. We're not really sure what this is. Some kind of weed, but... We're it's not interesting. sure if it's edible or if it's poisonous or anything uh, about it, but you can look it up. It grows like a weed. We're we leaving got a, this whole thing. He would usually weed eat, but we got our little baby pine tree growing in here. Yep. Don't want to hit that. And get some hand shears and yeah. cut that. So on over, there's just the uh, the potatoes and more tomatoes growing in the corner over there. Yep. They're progressing. Yep. So, boom. Ta-da. There it is. Can't wait till harvest comes. Looking Making, forward to it. Start getting some good homegrown stuff. Alright, that should be it for this installment. Have a good day, everybody.